Hey there, good morning folks, and happy Martin Luther King Day to you. Coming at you live with uh, this week's stocks to watch. I do have a small list of stocks to watch. And if you watched my uh, market cap recap video, uh, you know that I think there has been a, a pretty significant shift in the psychology of the markets. And it's important for you to know that the almost every single stock on my list here is meant to be a short-term day trade. I'm not looking for a whole lot of swings or long-term investments at this particular time until we maybe see something significant change within the markets. This is, I really do believe we've, we've kind of shifted to a, a sell the rip type market, at least here in the short term. So, um, quick update, Ticker TV. I did a, uh, a fairly lengthy Ticker TV uh, on Sunday. Great to have it back. Unfortunately, there have been some changes over there at Ticker TV. So if we run over on our live sessions more longer than an hour, uh, it actually doesn't archive. So it's a good thing uh, because it means from now on, moving forward, we're going to have to keep our uh, ticker TV sessions below or uh, shorter than an hour in duration, <laughs> which is a good thing, I think. And, um, you know, it's, it's a shame because yesterday we had some really good discussion on a lot of different topics. But uh, <clears throat> I do plan on doing some Ticker TV events uh, throughout the week and on the weekends. And uh, that's it. I will, uh, you know, if you haven't subscribed to Ticker TV, uh, you know, go on there. Look for Vegas Trader 66 and subscribe. And whenever I do a live broadcast, you will be notified automatically so through your email all right let's go ahead and get started with the stocks to watch for next week uh, listen this trove is pretty interesting to me I have played this stock several times uh, you know they recently did a um, an equity offering and so they've got a decent amount of cash on the balance sheet and you've had some insider buying from five dollars and forty three cents up to eight seventy five. And if you back out onto the weekly, this is a pretty significant area of support right here, right down around the three dollar mark. So you know I'm kind of looking at this is maybe maybe we get a little pull to three bucks on uh, on the opening on Tuesday it's coming down to this trend line right here it's kind of bouncing up it's been kind of bouncing within these two trend lines right so it's a good bounce spot right here you've got a long-term support area I think this is a potential bounce you know you could get a nice dollar move right this is the weekly chart so let's go to the daily real quick and I'll show you what else I'm looking at you know I'm, I'm Right now, all of the a lot of these trades are uh, snapback plays. Okay, and if you look at this, we uh, got completely out of the lower Bollinger Band. We're at a significant bounce spot. We've got some insider buying at much higher prices. You know, this one is attractive to me for a potential snapback play. AQXP had some news after the close. I think on Friday. Uh, Baker Brothers have, you know, uh, added to their position in this AQXP. And as you can see, this is a stock that can make some pretty crazy runs. Went from 2 bucks up to uh, 56 And, you know, I'm not suggesting we're going to get that kind of a move again. But I do think that you're going to have a lot of eyeballs on this. You've got an oversold condition crossing to the upside. I think you could potentially get a, a $10 roll and even maybe come up and test the $11 holla or come up and test this trend line right here. So looking at, for, looking at AQXP for a potential day trading opportunity, 
me go back to this other chart here. LBIO, you know, anything that held up fairly well over the through the carnage last week is something that uh, is catching my attention. You all know how I love uh, round number rolls. This is coming up on the six dollar holla. And we could be looking to come back up and potentially test somewhere around here in the $7 range, right? Just to come back up and test this trend line before we actually uh, pull back. So, you know, I'm watching the markets today and we did have some weakness around the globe. We did have Iran. We lifted sanctions. You know, there's all that oil coming on the market. One thing we discussed yesterday was the fact that Listen, this Iranian oil coming onto the market, this is not new news, right? Uh, the market is a forward-looking mechanism, and it, the Iranian oil is not new. So uh, it wouldn't be surprising to me if tomorrow we were er, to open up and, and flush down an oil and then have a hard snapback. So keep in mind uh, that that could happen, and, and, and we are in it an area where we could get a significant bounce. We're oversold in a lot of areas. But these are, you know, like I said, short-term snapback trades um, or opportunities to, to book some profit in your longer-term holds and build some cash, right? Because I'm really concerned about our longer-term trend reversal. But we could get a, a pretty violent snapback here in some of these things. So just keep that in mind. So this LBIO, I'm looking for a potential takeout of the $6 holla uh, and watching it for a potential day trade. IPI, so they had some news Friday. They restructured their financing. I'm not sure exactly when that news came out, but they did restructure their financing. You've had some insider buying in the $3.92, 417 level, 383 I mean, there's been some insider buying at significantly higher prices. They've restructured their debt. Let's see how the market reacts to that news. You know, it's a pretty beaten up name. It's an agricultural name. It, it's just a huge beat up sector. So uh, you could see a pretty nice snap in this and maybe come up and test somewhere around 250. And if you take out that trend line, I think you could potentially come up and test the $3 holla. So I think it's worth paying attention to IPI, APOL. You know, this is one we kind of we're talking about we're going through my scans uh, last week or, or we're going through my scans for oversold and, and stocks that have had bounces here's another stock that had a decent bounce on Friday off of news I think it had something to do with uh, government educational programs or something like that but it had a decent little bounce there's fairly decent uh, short interest I think in the name in APOL I'm thinking, you know, you can go up and get a test of the $8 holla. If you take out the $8 holla, I mean, there is a gap to fill on the daily here. Uh, you've got some maybe resistance up here around 9 bucks or so. I mean, this is a, a fairly interesting name. It's breaking this long-term trend line. I think it's worth paying attention to this Apollo and see if you get any follow-through. Uh, FCX, we all know, extremely beaten up name. you got Carl Icahn in here. You know, this would be interesting for a potential uh, day trade if it breaks over. Basically, if we can get a crack over $4.50 with conviction. I think maybe you could get a nice little pop in this one. CLDX, also a, a, another name that had a, you know, showed some strength on Friday in a week tape with some good volume. Uh, bouncing off the $10 holla, uh, you know, looking for a potential continuation. What you re I'd really like to see with this one is kind of a red to green move. You know, open up red and then pop up and maybe take uh, test this 1142, even potentially take it out and go up test the $12 holla. FET, this one has had some insider buying. And I thought I'd put that on the uh, on the chart, but it doesn't appear to be here. So hold on just one real quick second. Let me see if I can pull that up. Ah, foreign energy.
Sorry about this, folks. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we had some some insider buying from fourteen dollars and sixty nine cents. No, 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 no. September fourth, we had fifteen. Huh. Okay. Forget the insider buying thing. There was some insider buying, but it was quite a while back. Quite a while back, actually. Uh, I guess with this fat oil and gas, we just talked about the fact that we may get a decent bounce. Uh, what I'm looking at is potentially this could be an area where we get a bounce off this uh, $10 mark, right? Um, let me take a look at the daily. It is, you know, it was oversold. It looks as though we've got the MACD, which is starting to, the histogram, which is starting to uh, head this direction. We've got the stochastics, with, which have just crossed the upside. You know, bounced basically off the $10 mark. Not my favorite, but it is one that I am going to keep an eye on for uh, next week. RGLS. So, You've had some insider buying, $7.64. I'm looking at this area that we seem to be holding as support. Okay. And let me take a look at those castings real quick. So this one hasn't had a complete uh, meltdown, right? It's not completely out of the lower Bollinger Band. It is extremely oversold. It does look like maybe we're crossing to the upside. There has been some insider buying, and let me just take a look real quickly here at a longer term time frame. Let's take a look at this weekly. Yeah, this seems like a pretty darn good area of support down here, right? So, I mean, we can get a really clearly defined uh, stop loss on this thing. So, I think this one is potentially could be a decent trading opportunity with a fairly decent risk reward setup. I think if we do bounce off of here, if we get a bounce in the IBB, if we get a bounce in the markets, I think this one could get a nice pop uh, up into, you know, seven bucks or even come back up and test somewhere around seven, 765 or so, right? Where this insider was buying. So I think this RGLS is worth paying attention to. Uh, AWI, another one that we kind of found uh, doing our ticker TV yesterday and, um, you know, flirting with the $40 holla, right? It's got a fairly small float. And let me just take a look real quick here. This could be a fairly decent area of support, right? We had some resistance here. I mean, this has been a, a pretty pretty big area of support. Now, like I said, this is just a bounce trade. This is not a an investment. I'm not trying to take this for, you know, a two week swing. I'm just looking for a potential snapback because it is completely out of the lower Bollinger Band. Okay. And it's extremely oversold. So I'm just looking for a potential snapback in AWI. MTZ, this is the only one that may, I may start looking at for a potential starter position. I mean, I'm not, I haven't decided yet. I have to do a little bit more research. There is some insider buying going on. 6% uh, of the float is short. Uh, you've got insider buys from 1463 to 1642. This looks like it could be a, a decent area of support, right? I mean, if you look back here, this was resistance, and then it became support. Here we are testing it again. Uh, if we look at, that's the weekly. If we take a look at the daily, we look to be completely out of, I don't know, we've just pierced the lower Bollinger Band. This might have a little bit more to go. It might flush a little bit more, but uh, I, I am paying attention to this one to maybe start dipping my, to, my toe for a swing. They do have, like I said, a lot of debt, so I, I really haven't made the call on this one yet. Need to do a little bit more research, but it is uh, encouraging to see that there is a lot of insider buying at a significantly higher price. So at a potential bounce spot, may look to take it for a day trade if it gets some kind of a nice snapback, but 
AMC. We also found this one in the ticker TV uh, take. And, you know, look, we were kind of just talking about the uh, Disney movie and, and how successful it has been. Uh, this is looking like it could be in a good snapback place. It pierced the lower Bollinger Band. They could have some pretty darn good earnings coming out, I would think, soon. It's right at this area of uh, support. It did pierce through it, had a little bit of a reversal day on Friday. See if maybe we get some continuation in this name. I mean, again, this is just a, a day trade looking for a potential snapback, maybe a short-term, you know, one, two-day swing. I mean, this isn't a biotech. I don't think all of a sudden, you know, I'm going to wake up and it's going to be 10 bucks. So, I don't know. This one is, uh, I'm considering this one. You don't have a lot of historical data on this because it is a fairly new uh, issue. So this is an inter interesting spot right here. Yeah, I kind of like it. You know, I look at this as a band right here of resistance. See, you know, 1987 potentially could be your low. I don't know. Uh, I, I like it. I think we got to gotta watch it for a potential day trade. And I might even think about a, a short-term swing in that one. NNBR, uh, another one that appears to be out of the lower Bollinger Band. Let's take a look here. Yeah, out of the lower Bollinger Band, right? Um, extremely oversold. Insider buys from $14.93 uh, to $17.05. It has a small float, $25 million, 10% short interest. Does have a lot of debt. So... Uh, but for a snapback play, right, for a short-term snapback play, I think this is uh, potentially could be something. When you've got uh, some insider buying like that, I think it's attractive. And then the last one is CMX. Uh, flirting with the $5 holla. Uh, you know, it is in the oil and gas sec uh, sec sector. So if, if we do see a drop in oil, you know, this one's probably going to follow. And then if we see a snap back, I think you're going to see a snap back in this. You got a gap to fill. You got five dollar roll. You've got a long ways to go if you just want to test this uh, long term trend line. You had an insider buy of significance at seven dollars and seventy eight cents. So you know, look, I, I think potentially you could get a nice little pop in this thing, uh, and I think it's worth paying attention to. This is not something that I want to look to hold for the long term. Okay, folks, uh, that's it uh, for this week's uh, stocks to watch. Be careful out there. Um, but, you know, I, I do think we're going to get in, in the, this week, I think we will get uh, a couple of nice snapback days. I think you're going to get some good opportunities out there. Uh, remember, if you, uh, you know, want to come hang out in a pretty cool room with some laid back people, come check out. Uh, the Trader's Den, it's on my blog, free chat room tab. Uh, it's free. <laughs> so come on and check it out and uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Have fun or enjoy the, the rest of your holiday. And uh, I'll see you all tomorrow.